Hi, John Maxwell here today. Uh, I'm talking about the top 10 influencers in my life. I'm going to talk to you today about Zig Ziglar, uh, this precious, precious man. I heard him when I was 24 in Dayton, Ohio, at, at, at their convention center. I was on the front row. In fact, I went, <laughs> hang on, you just, I went three hours early. I went three hours early because I wanted to be the first one in line because I had a ticket, but those tickets didn't have seat numbers on. It was the first come, first serve. And when those doors opened, I wanted to be in there first. I wanted to be on the front row. And that's where I was. I was on the front row in the middle. There were 12,000 people, but I was on the front row. And if you want something bad enough, you'll get on the front row. Just have to go three hours early. And I was not disappointed because that day I heard several speakers speak, but Zig Ziglar changed my life. As he walked around that stage in that relaxed atmosphere with that Southern draw and those incredible, gracious visual pictures of his face and his mannerisms, he was so inviting. And he said, if you'll help other people get what they want first in life, they'll help you get what you want in life. And everything changed for me because up to that time, I was a leader who basically said, come and get on my train, get on my vision, join my team. It was all about me, me. Could you help me? Could you help me? Help me. And all of a sudden, Zig says, no, 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 you're going about it completely wrong, John. Help others first. And so Zig influenced me to add value to people. That's what I'm known for. When people say, John, you're always trying to add value to people. Well, I try to add value to leaders who multiply value to others. Why do I do that? It's very simple. It's very simple because. Zig Ziglar that day said, if you'll add value to people, you'll get all kind of value returned in your life. I've lived that life now, but that principle changed my life. And I want to just stop and talk. When I'm talking about influence for just for a moment, you never know. You never know as a person that statement, those few words that all of a sudden can change a person's life like Zig's changed mine. We became great friends. We became golfing buddies. We did a lot of things together. And what I loved most about Zig is he not only said that, he lived that. That man added value to everybody he came into contact. He was a great visual model example for me to try to be like him. I loved him dearly. Precious man, he influenced my life. I'm glad, I'm glad I stood outside for three hours early to get that front seat. What I heard that day, it greatly influenced my life. Thank you, Zig. I'm glad you're with me today on Minute with Maxwell. 